Hey everybody, and Tony here with a review of Mascagni's Cavalleros de Canna with conductor Nicola Luisotti, which was live from the Metropolitan Opera House. I was anticipating this particular radio transmission because of the star-studded cast headed by Ekaterina Semenchuk, Roberto Alagna, and George Gagnitze. And I have to tell you that the singers did not disappoint whatsoever. So let's start off with Ekaterina Zemenchuk as Santuzza. Now this is one of the first times she sang this role after her many exploits singing the likes of Amneris, Lady Macbeth, Eboli, among many other roles. And she definitely did an amazing job in this particular anti-heroine. First of all, what I've always admired about Ekaterina Zemenchuk is that burnished tone that she has and the way she was able to carry her supple, smooth, and well-focused dramatic mezzo-soprano voice, which can hit the heights of a dramatic soprano, was absolutely phenomenal. She just threw herself in this role so effectively that I was completely involved in the way she was able to play Santuzza. There were times I could feel her anguish, her pain, her yearning, and her overall passion when she embodied Santuzza. So, without further ado, I have to give a lot of kudos to Ekaterina Zemenchuk for a job excellently done in this wonderfully iconic, very small anti-heroine. Roberto Alagna was equally as stirring as Turido. Now, I always loved Signora Alagna in terms of his overall flair for drama, and he certainly did an amazing job with this particular role. What I've always admired about Signore Roberto Alagna was the way he was able to throw himself in Turidu's shoes. The way he was able to give him his passion, his overall virility, and that overall blood and guts attitude that Turidu has certainly made Roberto Alagna absolutely committed as a singing actor. And he was able to pair up nicely with Ekaterina Zemenchuk's Santuzza. Their voices in their duet blended so superbly that I was practically on cloud nine. So I'm not going to mince words here about Roberto Alagna's portrayal of Turidu. He was absolutely magnificent from beginning to end. And it's all thanks to that cutting and extremely incisive lyrico spinto tenor voice that he has been very well known for. Then we have George Gagnitze, who was an equally virile Alfio. The way he was able to use that round, rich, and absolutely earth-shattering dramatic baritone voice was of the highest order. Yes, there were times that he kind of wobbled a bit, but other than that, he was completely dedicated as a stirring, exciting, and absolutely masculine singing actor. He was able to give Alfio so much toughness evidenced in his voice that I was practically involved in everything he did as a singing actor. He was simply magnificent from beginning to end, and it's all thanks to his talents as a singing actor. Rihab Chayeb was a youthful and absolutely mischievous Lola, and it's all thanks to her lyric mezzo voice that I practically got myself invested in her performance. There is a brilliant future with this young and gorgeous lyric mezzo, and I cannot wait to see where her career will go. Jane Bunnell was a matronly and absolutely fine Mama Lucia. And while I would have loved to have a true dramatic contralto complete with all of those deep notes, 
singing this particular role, I still have to give a lot of credit to Jane Bunnell and her overall dedication as a singing actress. So overall, the singing was absolutely magnificent. And my huge praises go to Ekaterina Zemanchuk for a job excellently done as Santuzza. And I also have to give a lot of applause to Roberto Alagna and George Gagnitze for jobs superbly done as Turidu and Alfio, respectively. And the conducting done by Nicola Loisotti was absolutely well done. He made sure that the orchestra and chorus went together, and he certainly made such a stirring effect in everything he did. And the chorus and orchestra of the Metropolitan Opera House were absolutely outstanding. So overall, with such great singing done by Ekaterina Zemenchuk, Roberto Alagna, George Gagnitze, Rihab Shayeb, and Jane Bunnell, and of course, equally fine conducting done by Nicola Luisotti, this radio transmission of Cavalleria Rusticana live from the Metropolitan Opera House is certainly a must listen. And for those of you who heard this particular transmission of Mascagni's Cavalleria Rusticana live from the Metropolitan Opera House, what did you think of it? Did you feel like Ekaterina Zemanchuk stole the show as Santuzza? Did you feel like Roberto Alagna and George Cagnitza stole the show in their respective roles of Turidu and Alfio? Or did you feel like there was someone or something that just didn't really hold up? Comment below and let me know. Well, that's all for now. Be sure to tune in much later for my review of Leon Cavallos y Pagliacci also live from the Metropolitan Opera House and once again with Nicola Luisotti as the conductor and Roberto Alagna as Canio and George Cagnitze as Tonio. So until then, good night everybody.